Welcome. Welcome to Bay Focus. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have my cup of coffee. I hope you do too. We want you to settle in for a very inspirational show today. This is Holy Week. This is the week that we celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, the pinnacle of the Christian faith this week. And we have a wonderful show planned for you uh, with Derek Williams is here, the host of the Gospel Voice, along with his special guest to sing some wonderful Wonderful Easter Resurrection Day music for us and to celebrate what Christ did for us on the cross and then how he rose again. But we also have a special report from Bay Focus reporter Elise Nicole, who has been out in the community. And a few weeks ago, she went and did a report at the Strawberry Festival in Plant City, where CTN had a presence there, including a booth and special guests. And we want you to take a look. Here's Elise's report. Tropical, tranquil, triumphant, treasures by the day, with Elise Nicole. Hi, this is Elise Nicole reporting for Bay Focus, and we are here at the Strawberry Festival, the annual one. And look at this awesome background of amazing rides, Ferris wheels, tons of games with huge prizes, Italian sausages, food galore, and my absolute favorite, funnel cake. A myriad of indoor stores with clothing, jewelry, accessories, even home decor, and travel apparel. And of course, the world's best strawberry shortcake extravaganza, which we delightfully partook of. And coming up shortly, the one and only comedian Mark Lowry. But first, a word from the Strawberry Festival Chairman of the Board of Directors, Danny Coton. Uh, my name is uh, Danny Coton. I'm the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Florida Strawberry Festival. So can you tell us how the Strawberry Festival got started? So the festival got started back in 1930 to celebrate the strawberry harvest and the farming industry in Plant City. It's gone continuously since 1930 and to present. It was a six year hiatus to do the interruption of World War II. But other than that, we've had a continuous run since 1930. Um, and it's basically to celebrate the strawberry harvest and also to celebrate the Plant City community. Can you tell us how you got involved? Uh, well, I got involved as a volunteer you know, many, many years ago. Uh, then you, know, you get elected to the board and, and I was ultimately elected uh, as chairman. Congratulations, that's such an honor. What does the Strawberry Festival mean to you? Well, to me, I think this is just a great time for the community to come together. Uh, I think the community, this is a community fair. Uh, they're proud of it. You know, we have over 2,000 volunteers um, and they come out and, and, and you know, their hearts in this, they love it out here. It's a great time for local people to come to see our friends and see people we grew up with. It's a great time for people from outside of the Plain City community to come and we hope to have a good time here. They seem to enjoy it and our volunteers are really what makes the Strawberry Festival special. And I think that's what most people will tell you. We have, I said, over 2,000 volunteers that come out now. About how many people are you expecting this year? Well, uh, last year we had a record year of over 600,000. Well, we have a big crowd. We've been, we've been so fortunate that we had a great support from the community, from the outside of the community, from we're all around the country. The media has you know, given us great support. Um, so you know, we have, we've been very fortunate. We have big crowds here. Thank you, Danny. And now Brian and Yolanda Morris and a closing glimpse of the Mark Lowry. And here's Welcome Brian and Yolanda. To the 2024 Strawberry Festival here in Plant City, Florida. I'm Yolanda Morris. This is my husband, Brian Morris. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, supporting Plant City and being here as well for the Strawberry Festival. And uh, Mark will be out here in just a few minutes. Thank you. Great job. Amazing. They did amazing. Wonderful introduction. And very soon, Mark Lowry. Here he is, the man himself. This is awesome. This is awesome. I didn't know he'd be that close. Red roses too. Oh my gosh. I see them. To myself, what a wonderful world. Thank you so much, Elise, for that great report. Uh, and we want to now transition. We're going to be, the rest of the show, we're going to be focused on this Holy Week that we are celebrating what Christ did for us to, for the redemption of all mankind. And we are so honored to have Derek Williams, host of the Gospel Voice, with us today and his team. 
and he's going to start us off with a wonderful medley of music for the Easter season at the Cross Medley. Here's Derek. Hello. Did you know that the cross is huge for us? The cross where Jesus died is where we get our beliefs, our, our hope, is where we get our freedom, is that cross. What he did for us is amazing, amen? amen? He started out bringing a kingdom to us, amen? And he showed us through everything that he did while he was here. It led to that cross, that sacrifice. And because of that sacrifice on the cross, it leads us to lyrics like this. me you know my way even when I fail you you I know you love Your holy presence surround, round, 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 surround me, and every, and every, every season.
Amen. Wow, such a powerfully anointed song. We are so honored today to have the music of Derek Williams and the Gospel Voice team. Welcome, welcome. Part of the team. Amen. You have a bigger group. But Derek, for those of our viewers that may not know, maybe defining us for the first time, uh, you've been hosting this show for a lot of years right now. How many years? 18 now. 10 years? 18. 18. I lost eight years there yeah. somewhere <laughs> along the way. 18 years. Yeah. And uh, we got we don't have the time to get into the history of this, but we go back a long way. I saw Derek years ago as, as one of the lead. He actually played the role of Jesus on The Rock and the Rabbi that traveled. Yeah. That, that production traveled the country. Yeah. Um, so he's an accomplished musician, singer. Um, been involved in so much in music in his life, worship leader, worship pastor, all of these things. But tell us about the show, first of all. When does it air? How can our pe uh, viewers catch this? Uh, well, we're planning on airing um, a new series in August. Uh -huh. We are putting the shows together now. And God has blessed us with uh, extraordinary uh, God-believing, fearing people. And... I that when I first put the show together years ago, I was really reaching out to my colleagues in, in the music industry. But God told me that's Ann Bodie said he wanted people that really love God and, and, and volunteers and voila. I mean Yeah, let's give let's give the names oh, over yes. there. There came out today. This is Re Young. Yeah. Reintroduce yourself. I'm Re Young and I've been with the Gospel Boys for several years now. Well. It's, it's better for them to introduce you. I won't mess up their name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Stephanie Otero. Uh, this is my first time with the Gospel Voice. All right. I'm excited. All right. And we uh, worship at her church. She's a praise and worship leader also. I love that. And it. both of them. And, and um, we uh, occasionally get together. And God, from the drummer to the percussionist to the bass player, we're just all, God just brought it all together. And he brought it together in settings that we weren't praying for. He, he, he put it before us and said, this is what I want you to work with. And... When we call a rehearsal, they're there, they're here this morning. I mean, they, it's, just, it's just that volunteering spirit for the Lord because we believe that God provides for us in more ways than, than, than a monetary way. Yeah. Yeah, that health and strength that he gives us is, is, is what makes this show so awesome because everybody's consistent in, in our con rehearsal. Well, you know, yeah, and it's not only the team that you do this um, um, here with, with the show, you, the variety of the styles you need to really is worth watching um, with Derek because he, he has you have a really you know eclectic style. You you have you have a history with the church. Your background is a, with the church. A lot of gospel feel. You have you know R and B. You know yeah. the jazz side. You've got it all. So you have so much so much variety. A lot of original material. Yes. A lot of original material as well. And one thing I want to mention too, Derek is a member of our staff here at CPN too. So he helps us with our our uh, audio is our audio director, but also with our music needs and variety of things. I've worked with him 
many times over the years, all my years of producing telethons and the Good Life show as well. But one of the cool things about your show, I have to say this, mm. is you involve your daughter yes, as yeah. well as a family affair. Yes, you and remember her, Lovely wife, you? Julie, who's a producer a lot, and then Jordan, yes. who has her own music and yes. dance min uh, ministry and, and involvement locally. And, um, so we're about to go into a song that includes her. We couldn't, you know, we, we couldn't get on her list to be, actually be here today. I did put in the application, though. <laughs> <laughs> She's a very busy young adult. Yes, with yes. Good, Pursuing education as well in college and everything. Um, so, but you did, this is going to give you a glimpse of the Gospel Voice show, the new shows that you're putting together yes. as well. Set up this song for us. Tell us about it. Well, I wrote this song several years ago, um, and we did it at this big church in uh Oklahoma and the whole church participated in it and it, it was so awesome that God gave me the lyrics and he told me let's do it as a duo I didn't think my daughter could sing with me and that was the first time she ever sung with me and she harmonized and wow. it was just so awesome and so we decided to just put that in our repertoire around Easter to always do that as a duo we're doing it also on Easter Sunday yeah. at the church I play for. Yeah, and, and give us that. We'll give a shout out to your church. Um, the name of the church. Now you're going to make me think of the church. Okay. <laughs> the name of this church is St. Andrew's Presbyterian. And um, we it's have. It's in Dunedin, it's right? It's in Dunedin. Yeah. Yep. And it's. So you'll be there on Easter Sunday services. With Jordan. Oh, awesome. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. All right, yeah. let's take a look at this song. There's more music to come in the program, too, with, with Derek William and his team. Let's take a look at, at this with this highlights. Derek and Jordan Williams. Look at the God gave his own son. You and I, the reason why he rose forever he reigns. I love the name Jesus. High and lifted up, alive as far we hold. Because I know He lives. Because I know He lives. His grace He freely gives. I can face to tomorrow. Because I know He lives. Because I know He lives.
you know, this is such an important week for us. And as I said early on in the show, this is the, the week we celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. And it is so important that, that we take this time in our own lives. You know, the, 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 one of my favorite scriptures in, is in Philippians chapter 3, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection, the fellowship of his sufferings. There is an opportunity in your walk with the Lord uh, that you will experience times of suffering in your life, but times of resurrection. There is always a resurrection that God has for you in your circumstances. So we want you this week to take time to not only go to all the services, the Good Friday, the, the Easter services, all of that, but take time in your own life and reflect on where in your life that you can thank God and praise God for his resurrection power in your own life. And closing out the show today, we have Derek Williams again, host of Gospel Voice, uh, with, with his team singing here. And I'm just going to throw it to him to wrap up the show right now. Just take a moment and enjoy this music and reflect on what Jesus has done for you during this holy week. God bless. Derek. You know, if we didn't have Easter, being a Christian would just be a joke. I mean, I've, I've been asked that question before. Where, what, what is this thing about the cross? Well, it's got to be something huge because we see a lot of haters do things with that cross, right? One thing about our Savior, He has blessed us and given us things that we sometimes take for granted. And we use these great blessings in other venues. I know I have. And we give our glory to that venue. I mean, I'm at my best and people standing up, clapping, great tips. And one thing about all of that I've done, that's nothing like giving Jesus glory. Amen. Because the truth, my mom always told me, all you do for Christ will last. And those venues disappear. Those special events disappear. But what lasts forever is singing glory to his name. Amen. Singing glory to his name. Because down at the cross is where he died. Down at the cross is where I am healed. That I am saved. That I'm emboldened. Because he defeated the enemy. My mama used to do this growing up, and I didn't understand it back then, but I got older, and I understand it now. Check these lyrics out. Down at the cross where I first saw the light, down away from cleansing, from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood of life, singing glory, glory to his name. Let me sing it. I'm singing glory to his name. Come here, Reed. Oh, I am so wondrously saved from my sin. And Jesus so sweetly, he, he brought me in. Oh, there at the cross was the blood applied. Now I can walk with Jesus by my side. Oh, go.
one, take it out. Oh, oh, precious fountain that saves from sin. I'm so glad I've entered down to Jesus says, keeps me clean. Glory to his name. I'm singing glory to Focus, thank you so much for tuning in. We have so many things to tell you about. There's some exciting things coming up. The power of God is so much stronger. The power of Jesus is so much stronger.